Hello, my name is Paul Oak and I'm from Jones Feed Mills and we're going to talk a bit more today on video three of choosing the optimal breed of hen as part of our backyard poultry series. I'm again here today with Elaine Klesser from Kitchener Urban Hens. Uh, to start out with, once you've made that commitment to have backyard chickens, there's pretty much no turning back. You've decided and you're going to move forward with it. But before you start with that and get too far into your planning, there's some things that you need to look at. Uh, cons especially considering what type of breed of hen that you would like and what will work best for you and there's some main factors to consider. First of all, um, what is your primary reason for getting hens? Do you want eggs? Uh, is it for companionship? Is it for show? And then there's some other questions that follow uh, in regards to those questions. Uh, if you want eggs primarily, what is the size or color of egg that you would like? And we actually have some different sizes and colors and types of eggs that I can show our viewers here based on the uh, breed and the size and the type of hen that you do decide to have. However, if you decide that you want to go um, for some other reason other than eggs, um, what type of breeds do you find attractive? How much space and freedom can you give your birds? Um, what types of breeds will do well and best in our climate here in southwestern Ontario, especially during the winter months? Also, do you want a breed of bird which will raise its own offspring? Some of these questions and some of the uh, answers that, uh, that fit into them uh, will factor into which type of breed of uh, chicken that you decide to have. Uh, also remember that chickens are very social animals and they always should always have two birds. Uh, if you decide to have two different breeds of birds, it's also vitally important that they be able to interact well with one another. And I'll turn to Elaine now to uh, talk a little bit about egg production. Yes, depending on the breed you have, or the breed you pick, the number of eggs you get can vary drastically. There are hybrids which can produce two to three hundred eggs a year, or there are birds that are meant primarily for meat production, like Cornish hens, where you will get very few eggs. So you really want to make sure that when you're looking at which breed you want to get, you pick one that produces the egg enough eggs to suit your family. And also talking about the hen's age, uh, some hybrid pullets can start laying uh, eggs as early as 17 weeks. Some of the heritage breeds, uh, they, are, uh, they start laying eggs at around 26 weeks. So you do have a various uh, uh, variance in the uh, time frame that the birds will start to lay eggs. In all breeds, hens do tend to lay their best during the first year and they decrease production uh, in the years that follow. Uh, double yolk eggs are not uncommon uh, on young hens, but older hens often tend to lay the larger eggs. Um, and then the seasons. The summer season is the peak se season for laying, uh, but during the fall and winter months, uh, perhaps Elaine could discuss a little bit about the molting process. Uh, again, molting was something we never thought, expected when we first got into hens. Um, but what generally what happens is, with, especially with the heritage breeds, in order to cope with the colder weather, their body begins what is known as a molt. And during this process, they lose their feathers and they gain new feathers to help them through the winter season. But their body spends, most of the protein goes in to the development of the new feathers. And so it's taken away from the production of eggs. So during the molting season, you don't tend to get much in the way of eggs. You can do, use alternative lighting. Some people choose to do this, which will fool the hens into laying year-round. That's not a decision we've made. We choose to give them their rest during the winter. But again, it's a personal choice, and it's something to think about when you pick the breed. There are breeds that, again, have been bred so that they don't go into a molt and they lay year-round. So again, making a choice as to which breed and researching the different breeds is definitely something you should do in advance. And if you're doing uh, backyard chickens primarily for eggs, obviously as we mentioned earlier there's various different uh, types and sizes and colors uh, depending on the uh, breed. As you can see here from the various different types of eggs, you get varying shades of brown, white, blue, uh, green and even speckled eggs. Um, one of the most interesting breeds uh, to me is the Easter Egger. It's uh, a, very, a very interesting type of layer and perhaps you can expand a little bit more on that one. Yeah, we do have one Easter Egger. It is a mixture of a couple of different kinds of breeds and they lay eggs of a variety of colors, hence their name Easter Egger. You can get green eggs, I gather, you can get pink eggs, some that are more the 
see a teal, like there's dark green ones, there's, I think I've even heard of purple ones. Wow. But um, they are called Easter eggers because of the multiple colors. They come in all shapes and sizes. They're not a breed that's recognized by the American Poultry Association because they are a mixture of breeds. Um, we have the one Easter egger who lays the small teal eggs. She is our smallest bird and hence her eggs are smaller. But um, she's also our escape artist and I gather that Easter eggers are known for escaping. So if you're looking at getting one, expect a bird that is a little more scared of humans and likes to try and run for it. <laughs> and climactic hardiness, we touched a little bit on this earlier in the video. Uh, because we do live in southwestern Ontario, obviously a beautiful sunny day today, but as we get into the winter months, uh, we get the damp, cold uh, conditions here and uh, sub-zero temperatures. And you are looking for a fairly hardy uh, type of bird uh, for that type of climate. And I wondered if maybe Elaine could touch a little bit on that as well. So climatic hardiness is essentially whether or not a given breed can survive a certain climate without undue stress. So, of course, southwestern Ontario, we live in an area with extremes. We have minus 40s during the winter and we have plus 40s during the summer. So you, you really have to be aware when you're picking out your breeds. Um, not every breed can handle the heat, not every breed can handle the cold, so you have to make allowances for that. Different breeds have adapted in different ways over the years, so some of the things you can look at are the size of the bird. A larger bird generally is better adapted to cold winters because they have more body fat on them. You can look at the color of the feathers. Darker colored feathers make it easier in the winter. Lighter colored feathers, it's easier in the summer. Uh, you can also look at the comb types. Uh, our barred rock here has a single comb, which is great during the winter because it allows for more heat to escape. During the winter months, however, um, it is more susceptible to frostbite, so you have to be aware of that and keep an eye on that. Some people will use petroleum jelly to mm. coat it so to prevent the frostbite. Um, other breeds like our Easter Egger have a pea comb, which is very short and very close to the head, so it is better adapted for our cold winters. Um, you also have birds with feathers on their legs, which help keep them warm during the winter, but in our wet springs, you need to be aware that if the feathers get wet, they can cause health issues. So it's really a balancing act, trying to find a bird in southwestern Ontario and being aware of what bird you have and what their climate ability is. Now, I know the well-known uh, Plymouth Rock is a fairly cold-hardy bird. Maybe you could uh, touch on some of the other type of uh, cold-hardy birds yeah. as well. Sussexes are good as well. Um, the one Canadian bred bird that I know a lot of people have in our area are Chanticleers. They were actually bred in Quebec, and so they are used to Canadian winters. Um, so I know a lot of people who have had them and say they do very well, and they are one of the breeds that tends to lay better year-round. So if you're looking for a good egg producer, I gather Chanticleers are, are a good way to go. Thank you, Elaine. Uh, so in video four, we're going to talk uh, in part two of, the, uh, of this series. Uh, on choosing your optimal breed of hen. We're going to touch on some other uh, issues and things to look at uh, when you're making that first decision on what type of backyard poultry and chicks that you would like to have.